Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about what is an electric force and what are the particles that cause those forces. So let's go ahead and get to it. I had talked previously about the subatomic particles of an atom, at least the three basic ones, protons, neutrons, and electrons, in the structure of an atom screencast, and I can put a link to that in the upper right right about now. But it turns out that these particles have charges. So protons have positive charges, electrons have negative charges. So you could ask the question, what do these charges do to each other? And the answer is they provide a force. So opposite charges will attract each other, very much like this balloon will attract the hair, and the hair will attract the balloon. And that's because you've got charge, extra charge, that you're rubbing off of the hair onto the balloon, and it's building up extra electrons. So let's remind ourselves of what a force is. So it turns out that a force is a push or a pull, and so an electric force would be a push or a pull based on the charges of the particles or ions that are being dealt with. So let's think about what's happening here. So if you have an electron and a proton, what do they do to each other? It turns out that they attract each other. Well, how about if you have two electrons, what do they do to each other? Well, it turns out that they repel each other. And how about if you have two protons, what do they do to each other? Well, they repel each other as well. So what does that mean? Let's try to summarize this. If we were going to summarize this, notice that these opposite charges will attract each other and these alike charges, or we could just call them like charges, will repel each other. And so we say in general that like charges repel each other, unlike charges attract each other. Now how much force is between these charged particles? Well I will show you the math for that in a follow up video right after this one. It's going to involve using something called Coulomb's Law, so if you want to see that, I'll put a link to that in the upper right right about now. And so this is just the short and sweet what you need to know of the concept that these charges, these fundamental properties of matter, so matter has charge, and these charges attract or repel each other, and based on that we get an electric force, electrostatic force, or Coulomb's Law. So hopefully this has been helpful. If you have any questions or comments down below, please let me know. And I hope you all have a great day. Take care.